Hey, what's up, guys? It's Will from TechBTV bringing to you a review slash instructional video on a program called Air Display. And you can get that, this app, from the iTunes store for $9.99. Now, it is pricey, but it's on average about uh, the prices that will show up on the iPad App Store. But what this program does, if you scroll down, is essentially it will convert your iPad into a secondary display or a third display in my case that you can use for Photoshop palettes, uh, Twitter accounts, Adium, uh, and what you can enjoy is a essentially a secondary monitor that you can use to constantly have software that you like running in the background all the time that you'd like to see but you don't want to use up your valuable desk space on your primary monitor with it. So. Let me just show you real quick what you need to do. All you need to do is buy the app. Then you're gonna to go to the product. Uh, it's called Avatron is the, the, the software company. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the Air Display uh, link for their product. It's gonna have this little click to download. You're gonna download the software. Essentially what it'll do is it'll download a DMG file to your desktop. You're just gonna to need to open that up and you're going to click on the installer package that appears. I've already installed it, so I won't go through that portion, but just click through, kind of next through everything, it installs it in the standard directory, uh, etc. and you can go on from there. Then, after you have that running, make sure that your iPad is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, because that's the only way it'll work. Um, so once you have it connected, you're going to start up Air Display on your iPad, and what will happen is, up here, you'll see this little icon in your OS X uh, bar at the top, and it'll load, uh, it'll pre-made the name for your iPad, whatever your name of your iPad will be, and you're gonna click on it, and that's it. Your screen will flicker a little bit, and what you'll need to do is you're gonna go to your system preferences, you're gonna go to your display, and what'll happen is it'll automatically detect that third display or second display, depending on how many monitors you have connected right now, as a, another monitor. And all you need to do is detect the settings, change the resolution to whatever the standard resolution is, and you're good to go. You can drag and, and move around your uh, additional windows into that iPad screen. Now, I use it for various things like Adium. I'll keep my own Windows stuff open. I'll use Twitterific. Um, or Tweety on that and leave that on constantly. The most useful thing I have found it for is if you're using Photoshop, if you're using After Effects, uh, the external palettes are just for me easier when I have more screen real estate to play around with the canvas and use whatever tools off to the right of my hand that I can just touch and change tool palettes um, to suit whatever needs or tasks that I'm doing at the time. So gripes that I have with the software, it's fantastic software except for a few things. One, you must be connected to that Wi-Fi for both the iPad and the laptop. Not a huge issue, but it might be uh, a deal breaker for some. Secondary issue with might be more of a deal breaker than the prior is there is a little bit of lag or kind of screen lag, I would call it, in the iPad, you know, here's an example of it. You're moving down a window. It kind of leaves trails and, you know, you're not going to be gaming on this iPad, so it shouldn't be that huge of an issue. But if somebody's doing a lot of video work or he wants to, he or she wants to play video on it, it might lag a little bit. So watch for that. Really, you're using it as an ex, like a um, secondary display to kind of put palettes or Twitter or um, I am software on it so you can constantly have stuff running in the background not like video like hd movies uh on that so there you have it guys you can check out their site just go to itunes as i said it's called air display and you know check it out and see if it suits your needs or if you in the current you know needs or use model that you have that it might satisfy uh your needs at the time so Thanks guys for checking out the video and if you know enjoy my videos I'll be having tons more you know real soon if you can please subscribe please thumbs up and that's about it and I'll catch you guys later peace